Hello everyone, and welcome back to RL Craft. Nothing has really happened since the last episode, but I do have a very nice plan for what I want to get accomplished during this episode. And that is, number one, improving my house a bit, because it looks kind of kind of ruggedy right now. And I think I can do better as a builder. And I also want to establish a mine shaft uh, to get a strip mine going. There's a dweller over there. Uh, he's kind of chilling. I won't go after him if he doesn't go after me. So there's that. I also want to grab some more birch wood to make some uh, more matches so that I can actually light up the strip mine that I'll eventually make. Because uh, that's something that's pretty important to do in this mod pack. So, I think the main important thing is going to be to gather some more wood. And that's going to be scary because ends will likely spawn. So, I'm going to get some wood and I will be back. Yeah, remember the part where I was worried about Ent spawning? Yeah, well, there's a Scarlet Ent, but also three of them spawned at once. <laughs> and I'm kind of confused. Like, I didn't expect that to happen. Why did three of them spawn at one time? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I only mined one piece of wood. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Sketchy, sketchy times. It's very odd. I don't know what's going on. I do need to mine some more wood, though. But I got some Ent arms. Interesting. Two level, a level one and a level two. What can I use this for? I don't know. I need an equipment for it. So who knows? Stick it in a chest, and I won't touch it until I actually know what I need it for. So it's pretty interesting. Well, <laughs> this is interesting. I uh, I mined a block. The ant fell on me, and I died instantly. So that's fun. I've got to try to fight it. I think yes. Yeah, so here. Okay, well, fun times. Hopefully I don't get killed instantly a second time. So that was quite annoying. Oh, the nymph was healing the end. How dare you? That was evil. Okay, I guess the nymphs are neutral mobs. I thought they were only going to heal me. Then it started healing the end instead. Like, come on, man. I'm just trying to make a living here. Don't have to be rude about it, Mr. or Mrs. Nymph. Like, come on. Just mean. Uh, oh no. Okay. Can't, you can't sleep this. Um, it doesn't let you sleep. I need to grab my chest plate. Uh, but I don't know where it landed. Because, okay, it's right here. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what the, uh, spawning limitations are. Like, I don't know if things can just spawn in here or not. So, I hope they can't. Because <laughs> if they can, I'll probably die. We'll see. Uh, torches? I have torches in here. I can put some more up. <laughs> just to ward it off, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. This is scary time. But, on the bright side, I can upgrade something. Probably do mining. And attack can't do attack. Mining and defense. Yeah, so I can start getting spider armor. I am up to 19 iron right now, which is quite a bit. So that's pretty cool. Um, do like that. That's nice. I did gain knowledge rank 2 of uh, the Ent, I believe. Um, it's a plant. Oh, there are variations. What is this? Is it that thing? The quill beast? What is a quill beast? That sounded like a clown horn also. <laughs> Very interesting stuff going on right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super, like, on edge. Will I get a notice when the blood boon is setting? <laughs> or will I just have to kind of guess? Also an Azure Eyewig out there. The Eyewig is... Um, these, one of these guys. This thing. So there's one of these out there. Um, I don't know where he went, but he was out there. Okay, now I'll drink one of the warg. There's a warg. <laughs> uh, it's not aquatic. A warg. Oh, I feel like I've seen one of these things before. It can be tamed with beast tree. Also. Um, the beast tree recipe, I need steak. Or cooked aspid meat. 
Do I have anything that even remotely resembles steak? No, no I don't. Okay. <laughs> I should try to find something like that. So I can make bee streets to tame stuff. Because there are plenty of things out here that can be tamed. I just don't have the uh, resources necessary to tame them. So, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Well, <laughs> game just crashed. So, that's pretty cool. I guess. That, <laughs> great. Alright, well we're back. Something's above us. Hopefully it doesn't stay for too long. <laughs> or break down the door or something. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll continue waiting, I guess. Alright, I believe it is finally day now. Uh, because I get this message. But I think there's still a bunch of stuff outside. So... Not sure how that's gonna go. <laughs> Put some stuff away so that if I die, nothing bad happens. I'm just gonna run out. Let's see what happens. What the heck is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. I have decay. Does that hurt me? Jeez. I want to go after it. Oh, it's coming. He's coming. Is it co oh, he exploded. Did he die or did he just disappear? I think it died. I hope it died. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna head inside. And I think we're good. <laughs> Maybe? I honestly am not sure. <laughs> but, oh well. Um, as you... thought I saw something. I don't think I did though. Uh, as you may notice, I did clear out this tree a bit. I should probably clear that out a little bit more at least. Uh, just to get a little more room for the house that I want to try and create. Um, but, oh well, I think it's fine. I, I want to go up here, make some nice pillars like this, like I'm actually making a house. It's, I want to look good. I also want to kill the chupacabra, because he's going to come after me if I don't. Cool. <laughs> oh, hello, dweller. That's an Azure dweller, not just a regular dweller. Kill him the same way, though. Come on. Die. Thank you. Uh, I don't think there's any other mobs, so I'll just come down here. Try to pick up my experience real quick. Very nice. Okay. I didn't see those bubbles before. That's weird. wonder why those are there. Uh, anyway, we have these uh, stone pillars. And then stick some blocks in like that to get some walls. And I should be good to remove these from here. I don't think they're particularly a necessity anymore. Um, okay, well that one is. But the pillar's there. This is where my wall would be. Um, which... I don't really like that. Um, what I can do, actually, though, is make the front face different from the back faces here. And make this where my wall starts on this side even though it's not the same as where it starts in the front. But I think that's okay. Uh, it's not like that big a deal that there's a difference. It'll just make the build a bit more interesting overall, I like to think. So that's the plan there. Uh, do the same thing on the other side, and then we can worry about getting a roof going. All right, with that, we now have these beautiful walls extending, and if I come out of my house a bit and go to sleep almost immediately, and see what it looks like on the outside here. Oh, just another chupacabra. Okay, I was like, something up there, I don't know what it is, but nothing to be afraid of. And it is becoming nighttime, so I will decide to sleep right now. Beautiful. Sleeping is good. I do enjoy being able to do this <laughs> now, especially since I couldn't during the blood moon. So it's just kind of annoying, you know? I'm just like sitting here doing nothing, because there's nothing that I can do while the blood moon is going on. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but anyway, we're out here now, ready to get work on making this look a little bit better as I do my what my building classes have taught me and establish this beautiful framework here for my house coming out of this hill. Um, yeah, birds are a-chirpin'. <laughs> they are quite loud. That's okay. You can actually knock out these two planks and replace them with logs here. 
So you get this shape going like that. Alright, cool. And now I want to get a roof on this um, so that I can have a roof. I don't know what kind of roof to make, though. That's the problem. I get to a second story, also. I didn't think about that. Um, it wouldn't be too difficult. And then I could have, like, more access on top of the hill, maybe? Uh, I don't know, actually. Probably won't do that. I don't know how much storage space I'm going to need overall for this, so I won't worry about a second story yet. And I probably won't even worry about making a roof quite yet either. But it is nice to know that what I have of a house now is a little bit better. And I'll probably continue to at least think about what I'm going to do with it in the future. Uh, okay, so the leaves are all gone off of this tree, which is very odd. And this tree is only partially destroyed. So I want to finish breaking this, because it's kind of annoying having floating trees. And Ents will continue to spawn. I didn't get scared. I mean, I jumped a little bit, like, just in my chair, but I didn't, like, verbalize my, uh, fright. So, I suppose that's progress toward, uh, desensitizing me to sudden things appearing that I'm not used to doing. Also, this is a level 2 Ent. I don't know how that's different from a level 1 Ent. I think it was more difficult to kill or something? I don't know. But I killed it anyway, so good for me, I guess. Okay. Well, as you may recall, um, that was only one of the objectives that I had for this episode. The other one was to establish a mine shaft going down that I can use to mine without fearing that a random enemy will spawn in a cave and kill me. Because that will happen otherwise. <laughs> so, I thought I saw something over there. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I also wanted to mine some more birch wood, but I will probably not do that on camera because it's not that important. But I do still need to establish this mine. So, where am I going to do it? <laughs> That's probably the most important question. Um, I know there are caves in this general area, so if I were to tunnel like here, okay, that could probably work. Um, I can start my just strip mine like right here going down. Alright, so this is kind of what I'm going for here. It'll just be a nice staircase going down. I might pretty it up a bit in the future, but I also might not. I don't know. It really just depends on how I'm feeling on a given day, on whether or not I want to do anything with this project or not. Um, so, yeah, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to tunnel down fairly low, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's hard to know like what I want to get right now. Because even if I were to find diamond, I don't, I can't make or use an iron, I can probably make one actually, but I can't use an iron pickaxe. So, I can't really do much, even if I were to find diamond. So, I'll go down a little bit, um, but I do want to get this established, even if I do have to cave or do dungeons or whatever to get more experience, which is something that I will likely have to do. So probably actually abandon this for now. I have the idea going. Um, I know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. I just don't have a reason to quite yet because there's like nothing that I can actually do with it, if that makes sense. I don't know what I even need to mine like diamond ore. Mining, oh it's only mining eight, okay. What about to use that? Attack 16? Yeah. So I only need mining eight to mine it. Um, which I can do relatively easily. I mean, I'm already at mining six. So, um, mining, attack, defense, gathering. These four are what I really need to get, but I don't have a real way of getting them right now. So, what I need to do is get more experience. And I feel like the best way of doing that is going to be to take on the roguelike dungeons that are somewhat near me in the desert. I only needed one stone pick there. Um, take on the roguelike dungeons that are near me in the desert, or do other various mining activities, um, but most of those can probably be done just in caves. Look around here. There are still ores and stuff in this, like, areas that I haven't mined yet, so that's something to think about, that I do need to go and mine them at some point or another, just to get ores. I just hate that, like, the geonox can spawn constantly. 
Like, they're super annoying because of how, like, random they are. Like, I don't know if I mine this block right here, that one's going to spawn, you know? It's just not knowing that's the problem. So, I'm going to mine some coal, if anything eventful. See, like that. Guy jumped. I didn't, again, I didn't say anything, but I definitely jumped. So, there's that. Um, I do get, you do get ores from them. Like, I got nether quartz and iron. But, like, why is that even a thing that can even happen in the first place? So, I think he broke my torch. <laughs> like, they take up such a large area, too. I don't know. I don't know how, like, much, um, damage they deal or anything, either. Because the one that I, they're the two that I fought so far haven't really, like, done anything. Both of them, they've spawned and they've just kind of sat there. Also, what is that? <laughs> Saw a name tag and then it immediately disappeared. I don't know what it was or where it went. So that's a bit unsettling, but I'm sure it's nothing major. There's also a ramen over there. Level 2 ramen, specifically. Oh, he's a coming. He's coming after me. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, what is this? I am not moving. I have insatiability? What the heck? My movement's super weird. Okay, he died. He dropped chorus fruit? <laughs> That's funny, because he makes me move very oddly. Also, I didn't bring any food with me. So I'm going to head back to base so I don't lose this stuff. Like, honestly, if Lycanite's mobs were removed, this mod pack would be, like, way less of a problem than it currently is. Like, even with all the, um other things that exist. Also, I got two planks per log, really. I mean, I was expecting at least three, but whatever. Okay, and I have eight. So I guess you only get two? Doesn't seem right. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is, but like, I don't know. I feel like it should be more, even if it's not. Because it just seems kind of ridiculous to only get two planks per log. See, I got 12 that time. Maybe it's just inconsistent, but that's honestly kind of worse. Like, I don't know how much would I have to set down in order to get the amount that I actually want to get. Um, so that's kind of annoying. But anyway, I can go ahead and upgrade something, a good gathering. Yeah. Actually, it's probably not a good... I should probably uh, focus one aspect rather than trying to do all of them at one time. But, oh well. <laughs> it's too late now, I guess. Oh, uh, what is that? Oh, Scarlet Ent. Okay, since I hate all Ents, I want to... Oh, Skeleton. Okay, skeletons are probably the most dangerous mob in this mod pack because they can one-hit kill you. So I'm going to go after him and try to take him out before he takes me out on a date. Yeah, don't do that. Ah, okay. He shot me. He died. All right, cool. Also, I do need bones uh, for the uh, beast treats because so many mobs can just be tamed and, like, ridden as mounts. I was looking this up on the wiki for Lycanite's mobs because I was just curious. So many mobs can be ridden. Like, I think chupacabras can actually be ridden, which is really cool <laughs> that that's a feature. Um, but I also don't have anything to get them yet. Also, I still haven't grabbed any food, so that's one issue. And grab my venison. Very nice. And now I want to go after this ent, because I hate ents. And if he's existing in my territory, I want to take him out. Also, this creeper. Regular boring old creeper. He's now dead. Uh, I'm not sure I have much of a use for gunpowder, but whatever. Oh, the end's still there. Okay. I didn't see him for a second, so. Wanted to make sure. Also, I think this is the farthest I've ever gone from my house. In this mod pack. Or in, like, today, I guess. <laughs> in general. It's the farthest I've ever gone away. It's just scary. Oh, I didn't even know that there was a structure over there. You know? Just things like that. Little random things that exist that I've never seen because I've been super scared to leave my house because I can die. Is this a village? No, I think it's just a house. There's a bed in it, though. Uh, so that's something to be interested in. <laughs> and a nymph. I do like nymphs. They heal me, so there's no reason to be alarmed. Uh, I like that. I like not being alarmed by anything. This is weird terrain generation. Uh, there's also a tree inside of this house. So, that's pretty cool. What do we got? Bread. And a bed. And a bookshelf, which I will snag. These books are useful. I do like books. Um, not sure what this is. It seems kind of... Oh, what the heck? Why did the textures... Why did my icons change? 
What? Oh. I'm dumb. Can I drink water? Okay. Well, it hasn't gone away. But I am no... Yeah, there it is. Okay. I was just dehydrated. Okay. I guess I sprinted a bit too much at one point or another, and then I became dehydrated. Well, it's good to know that that's the thing that can happen when you get dehydrated. <laughs> um, I guess it kind of parallels real life, since they can't exactly give me a headache in Minecraft, which <laughs> is what would usually happen. That's how I know I'm dehydrated. How do you know that you're dehydrated? Let me know. Leave a comment. When do you feel dehydrated? It's important information. If you don't know, then you should probably look into why you don't know and try to figure it out. Because that's, I mean, that's important stuff. What is that? Oh, it's another... Oh, he's killing the Silex! No! Ramen, how rude! Don't kill innocent fish. I mean, I've killed them before, but I won't again. Probably. At least for a little while. I won't do it. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of complicated. We have a complicated relationship, okay? It's not too big a deal. We're not, like, gonna be dramatic about it, okay? But if you're gonna kill them, then I might as well kill you, okay? That's just the way I feel. You can respect that, or you can disrespect that. I don't know. I don't care. But if you're gonna come slowly at me, then I'm just gonna take you out. Yep. There. Also, what is that? Chaos Orb Charge? What can I use this in? Nothing, apparently. Uh, I don't know how strong a Chaos Orb is, but it's probably worth testing. Assuming I can't use it for anything, which I don't think I can. Use to unleash an orb of chaos. Let's see. Uh, is there an enemy nearby that I can see right now? Oh, there are some squid. Uh, I could test it out on these squid. Alright, I'm going to use it. Yeah! It's, uh, I think it just disappeared. Huh. Well, now I know what it does, I guess. Kind of. I mean, I know that I shoot it off. And it travels directly down at the ground <laughs> and does absolutely nothing to help me kill the things that I was trying to kill. But that's okay. Not everything has to kill everything, I guess. But most things probably will. Alright, everybody. I have two things. One, houses, the roof on the house is getting a bit better. And two, there is a mob called a shambler right outside. At least he was, like, right over there. See that, like thing? Yeah, that guy. That's a shambler. I want to try and kill it, um, because that's what I want to do now for XP. But also, touching them causes paralysis, apparently. So, that's interesting. But yeah, this is what the house is looking like right now. Just in the process of laying this beautiful slab roof on top to finish off this roof. If you drop down here, this is what it looks like. I think I'll stick some planks in to fill the gap that I created here. And there we go. I have a nice house, or a nice roof anyway, on my nice house. Um, comes around to the side here. And you can see, it's like, I used oak. Um, just because I wanted something different than dark oak. And oak was pretty much the only other wood type I had. So, that's what I decided to go with. I think it works. It looks decent enough anyway, um, so I'm not particularly worried about it in terms of doing good. Alright. Anyway, Shambler Man still has not tried to come after me yet, so... Oh, is that its sound? Oh, that's a creepy sound. I don't like this sound. Um, okay, I'm gonna approach from the side. Here we go. It's level 2, but it looks trapped. Can he shoot me? Doesn't look like it. Alright, he's dead. I think he was just trapped uh, by an unfortunate spawn, so that made for easy, easy pickings. So that's nice. Another thing that happened, though, is my bestiary thing got completely wiped. So, I don't know how that happened or why that happened, but yeah, the only creatures I can look at are the Shambler right now. So that kind of sucks, um, but I don't really know how it happened or what I can do to fix it, so it's just the reality I'm living with for now. Anyway, I do want to continue mining this down, but I don't think that's really important enough for now. The main thing though is that we got this beautiful looking house constructed, and now I can start living a little bit better. But I do want to do a bit more in here, 
uh, just because the roof looks kind of weird, and the floor is only stone. Alright, well, as it turns out, I did actually have enough oak wood to finish out the ceiling and enough cobblestone to do the floor, so now this is what our house is looking like. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think, for now anyway, the interior is looking pretty good. I might do a bit more with it later, but I might not. I'm not entirely sure yet. And everything is going pretty, uh, pretty good so far in the world of RL Craft. So, with that, I'm going to leave this here. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a comment, any feedback you have for me, and I'll see all of you later. Bye.